Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm box for the month of February. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. And this is my PR box, so thank you so much BoxyCharm for sending this to me. This box is extremely light, guys. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. The theme this month is BoxyCharm Be My Glamantine. I like that, Glamantine. Looks like we got some nice products in here and value wise it's not as much as other boxes i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first item which would have been the choice item i actually chose this in my paid box as well this is by saturday skin and this is their vitamin c bright eye cream it is a buttery eye cream with an infusion of yazoo fruit a rich vitamin c citrus combined with targeted ingredients such as active vital complex and niacin this eye cream will improve moisture retention, hydrate, and blur the appearance of fine lines, and it retails for $32. This package is very tiny, but what eye cream isn't? The top is a little bit loose. It is not on there tight, but the packaging is definitely pretty cute. So this is what it looks like. It's swirled in there pretty nicely, and I'm just going to take what's on the top, and it feels pretty thick. The consistency... It definitely feels nice and moisturizing. A little bit thicker than other eye creams that I've used. Maybe I used too much, even though I only grabbed a tiny little bit. But it seems... I guess we'll see. It seems to be like rubbing on the skin instead of rubbing into the skin and being absorbed. But again, maybe I took too much. It's almost going on my skin with a little bit of a white tint hue that's not going away. So I guess a very extremely tiny bit goes a long way. It does feel really soft and silky on the skin. There is no scent to it whatsoever. I kind of wish it had a little bit of a citrusy scent, but at the same time, you are using it around your eye area. So you don't really want to put fragrance there. Love the top. Feels like a nice moisturizer. Honestly, this feels more like a moisturizer I would use on my face than my eyes. But hey, if you've got dry under eyes, you guys will love this. The next product we've got in here, I'm a little bit disappointed about. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I got this, I think, last month or the month before. I think it was in my uh, premium box. So I've been seeing, honestly, a lot of repeats, whether it's from BoxyCharm going back and forth with Ipsy or just things in premium just being being thrown in the base box the next month, which it's not always a bad thing. If you miss out on an item that's really good, it's nice that you can get a second chance of getting it. Stila's volumizing long wearing mascara drenches every lash in intense triple black pigments and builds unstoppable color for the boldest blackest lashes ever. With just one coat, you instantly get major volume, length, lift, and intense black color. Even with multiple coats, this flexible formula leaves lashes soft with no clumps, flakes, or fallout and it retails for $23. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna keep this closed because I literally have about 16 or 17 mascaras open that I have to get through before I can open another because I just don't want them to go bad. But this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty packaging, to be completely honest. I love the gold. The next product in here looks like a brush, and this is the Ali Youp Multitasker 4-in-1 Makeup Brush, an award-winning multitasker brush combined with the four most essential makeup applicators, including a sponge, blush, brow, and eyeshadow brush. This compact game changer is all you need for a full face on the go or at home. Each is made with premium synthetic fibers and it retails for $28. Interesting. A brush that does it all. Um, does the sponge come out? or not. I don't think the sponge comes out. That's kind of weird. I don't like that the sponge comes out because like what am I gonna do? Pat it on my face like this? I don't like that. And then you gotta, how are you gonna clean this? I don't know how I feel about the sponge in here to be honest guys. I mean cool concept but I don't like the sponge. This brush, this is really nice. Feels really really soft on the skin. I definitely do like that. So you twist it and you find another brush inside. I absolutely love these angled brushes. They are very very useful for eyeliner, for doing your brows, anything really. And then we've got the eyeshadow brush. Honestly, I love this set. I wish that like I understand the beauty blender because I use beauty blenders all of the time. If this would be okay for like maybe under your eye, but I would not use this on my face. That's just like, mm. the concept is just weird to me. I give this, you know, 
a B plus for drying. Definitely nice and handy for on the go. I would be careful though when you're going in and out with these brushes. I would make sure to clean them before putting them back in because otherwise bacteria is going to build up inside of here. And when you're putting this on, you want to make sure not fray any of the bristles so that they get bent or whatever. It's a cool concept. I like it. I'm for it. Innovative. All right. Next product we have is the Estate Cosmetics Precision Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This ultra fine felt tip liquid liner delivers any look from a quick flick to a bold wing. Lasting all day, it won't slip, tug, feather, smudge, or run, and it retails for $12. This is a new brand to BoxyCharm as well. Very light. Very, very light. That's what it looks like. And let's give it a go. I like the brush. It's very thin, so nice for if you want precision. It is not feathering, and it looks like a very like bold black color, so I like that. I am all for the black, black mascaras, black, black eyeliners. It just makes your eyes pop so much more. And for 12 bucks, that's not bad. Even cheaper than some drugstore ones, to be honest. And then the last product I've got in here is by Yensa, and this is their Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. This primer is the perfect first step to achieving a superfood glow. Infused with eight super-powered skin-loving ingredients to help minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, this lightweight satin sheen formula creates an invisible skin perfecting finish and it retails for $35. So in this box guys I mean I'm glad that we don't have a product that marks the box up like 111 skin for example their products are like one to three hundred dollars I feel like so it's like it makes the value not really there. This box overall I feel like the products are pretty nice but we don't have anything super crazy expensive this month. Today's video shout out word is primer. If you comment primer down below in the comments first I'll get a shout out in my next video. That is what the primer looks like. So it has a little bit of a tint to it. And it feels really soft as I'm rubbing it in. I'm wondering though if this is versatile for anybody to use or if it will leave like a color cast if you're like any darker than this. Um, it seems to be going on, uh, I don't know guys. It is kind of creasing into my hair lines and my lines on my hand, which I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera or not. It feels really nice on the skin, but I just, I wish it was clear. Because of that little color tint to it, I feel like it's not being as flattering but as it's drying I mean it feels nice and if it's gonna be under makeup I guess it doesn't really matter too much so yeah that one's nice all right guys so this is my box <sighs> I have to be honest guys it is a nice box I am just a little bit disappointed because I feel like it's almost like my previous premium boxes it's like extremely light there's like no weight to it and the products are kind of tiny the total retail value of this box is $130 so a lot less than than what we've previously been getting. So hopefully it's just this month and not for future boxes. But let me know what you guys think of this box. Honestly, like I love the brush. Not a huge fan of the blender end, but everything else I love about it. Cause you know, I do go on the go sometimes travel. So that'll be nice to have in my bag. And that way I don't have to have like a million brushes with me. It just makes it so much easier. And then the mascara is nice. The liquid liner was actually really nice. I was surprised by that. Saturday skin eye cream definitely felt nice was a little bit heavier than I was expecting but good for the winter months and then the face primer I'm like on the fence I'll have to try it out with makeup and see if I like it or not but first impressions I'm like torn I love the ingredients in it but it did leave like a little bit of streakiness I'm sure it will be different with makeup over top let me know what you guys thought of this box down below I would love to hear your guys's thoughts and if you guys have received your boxes already let me know what you guys got in your box is. I'm super excited to hear and I'll have another video up soon with my paid base box and my paid premium box so stay tuned for that. Today's video shout out goes out to Gabby Dawn. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye!